I'm sure you've heard the news about John Miller, the hero of our hamlet, but do you know where his journey began? John Miller was a boy from a small hamlet, a quaint and picturesque village nestled in the countryside, a place where life was simple, untouched by the chaos of the world, where the days were slow and the nights were serene. But John dreamed of a life less ordinary, a life filled with excitement and adventure. He yearned for adventure, for a chance to prove his courage and make a difference in the world. He read stories of heroes, their bravery etched in his young mind, tales of knights and explorers who ventured into the unknown. John would spend hours gazing at the sky, imagining himself as a pilot soaring above the clouds, navigating through the vast expanse of the heavens. He would picture himself as a soldier, standing tall in the face of danger, defending the innocent and fighting for justice. His heart beat with the rhythm of heroism, a drumbeat urging him towards a destiny unknown, a future filled with possibilities. The hamlet was his world, but John knew there was a bigger one waiting beyond the horizon, a world full of opportunities and challenges. He felt a call to something greater, a pull towards a life less ordinary, a life where he could make a difference. And he was determined to answer that call, to become the hero he always dreamed of being, to embark on a journey that would change his life forever. Answering the call, the opportunity arrived with a notice board announcement. The military was recruiting, seeking brave young men to serve their country. John saw his chance. He knew in his heart that this was his calling, his opportunity to step into the shoes of the heroes he admired. John bid farewell to his Hamlet, his family and Emily, the girl with eyes as blue as the summer sky. He promised to return a hero, his heart full of hope and a tinge of sadness. He joined the military, the raw recruit eager to learn and serve. He rose through the ranks, his determination and inherent leadership qualities shining through. He was known for his bravery, always volunteering for the most dangerous missions. His comrades admired his courage, his superiors recognized his potential. John Miller, the boy from the small hamlet, was becoming the man he always knew he could be. Letters from afar. Despite the distance and the ever-present danger, John never forgot his roots. The war had taken him far from home, but his heart remained tethered to the familiar faces and places he cherished. He wrote letters home, filled with longing and love for his family and Emily. Each stroke of the pen was a bridge to the life he yearned to return to, a life filled with warmth and affection. His words, penned on thin paper, were a lifeline connecting him to the life he left behind. These letters were more than just words. They were pieces of his soul, fragments of his deepest emotions. He wrote of his experiences, the adrenaline of missions, the camaraderie of his fellow soldiers. The bonds formed in the heat of battle were unlike any other, a brotherhood forged in the crucible of war. But he also wrote of his longing for home, for the scent of freshly baked bread from his mother's kitchen, for the warmth of Emily's smile. These simple pleasures were what he missed the most, the small moments that made life beautiful. He poured his heart into those letters, each one a testament to the man he was becoming. The war was changing him, shaping him in ways he never imagined. And his letters were a reflection of that transformation. To Emily, he wrote poems, his words clumsy yet heartfelt. He expressed his deepest feelings, his fears and his dreams, hoping that his love would reach her across the miles. He wrote of his love for her, a love that grew stronger with each passing day. The distance only made his heart fonder, and he longed for the day they would be reunited. He promised to return to her, to build a life filled with love and happiness. His letters were filled with dreams of a future together, a future where they could leave the horrors of war behind. His letters were a beacon of hope, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, love and hope could endure. They were a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, a promise that no matter how far apart they were, their love would never fade. A hero's sacrifice. The mission was perilous, a desperate attempt to rescue civilians trapped in a war-torn city where danger lurked around every corner and the air was thick with tension. John, with his unwavering courage and a heart full of resolve, volunteered without hesitation knowing that this mission could be his last. He knew the risks, the possibility of never returning home to his loved ones, the family he cherished so deeply, but he also knew the importance of his duty, the lives that hung in the balance, and the innocent faces that needed protection. 
He led his team with unparalleled bravery, navigating through the chaos and destruction with a steady hand and a clear mind. They fought their way to the civilians, their hope rekindled by the sight of John and his men who brought a glimmer of light in the darkest of times. But as they made their escape, a hidden explosive detonated, shattering the fragile peace they had momentarily found. John, without a second thought, shielded a family with his own body, his instincts driven by a profound sense of duty and love for humanity. His sacrifice saved their lives, but at a terrible cost, a cost that would be felt by all who knew him. John Miller, the boy who dreamed of being a hero, breathed his last breath on foreign soil, his final act a testament to his courageous spirit and unwavering dedication. The hero of the Hamlet had fallen, but his legacy was just beginning, inspiring countless others to act with the same bravery and selflessness. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.